Hey guys, I hope you're doing well and welcome back to another video. So in this one, we are going to look at how we can move data between levels. For example, uh, you can have your variables in your first level and change the data in the variables and then move that data into your other level and use it there as well. So in this scenario, as you can see, I have these coins here and when I collect them, the amount of coins I have gathered are written on the screen. Next, when I go to the other level, you can see that it goes from 4 to 5, 6 and 7, meaning that the integer that is set on 4 in the previous level is used here. And when I get the coins, it goes from 4 to 5, 6 and 7 and so on. It doesn't start from 0 again. So let's see how we can do this in this project. I have two levels in my project. The first one is called third person map, which is the one that is open right now. And the other one, third person map one, which is the one that I want to uh, transition to. So the way I go from map one to map two is that I have a trigger box here and here in my level blueprint you can see that i have a simple open level function and it's going to open third person map one when i overlap with the trigger box next i have these actors these are actor blueprints and they have a cylinder which is functioning as our coin and this rotating movement which rotates the actor around itself and also this collision box. Now what I want to do is to use this collision box to get an event and then do some stuff here. So here just right click on your box collision and add an event. I'm going to use on component begin overlap. Next, I want to make sure that it only works when my first person character bumps into the coins. So just drag off a wire from this other actor here or this execution pin and search for cast to BP first person character. Then connect this other actor here and now we are good to go. Now I need a variable to count the coins that I have gathered. But the thing here is that if I create a variable in my BP coins blueprint or even in my BP first person character, it is not going to transfer into the other level when I change levels. So the thing we need to do is to create a game instance and using a game instance, we are able to keep the data when we change levels. So just go to your content browser, right click and create a blueprint, search for game instance and here it is. Let's name it my game instance and open it up. Now here you can create variables like uh, other blueprints that you have worked with. And this time, if you create a variable, you are able to use this in all of your levels in your project. So here, create one, change the name to coin number and set it on integer. The default value here is zero. And now we need to change this variable based on the number of the coins that we collect in the level. So here we want to cast to the game instance that we created. So cast to my game instance and for the object we need to search for get game instance. Now we are able to use 
the variables inside our game instance. So here drag off a wire and search for set coin number. Also let's get our coin number as well and what we need to do here is to get the coin number add one unit to our integer and then set it again also make sure that you connect this pin here to your target in your functions what's happening here is that when we bump up to the coins in our levels it will cast to our game instance and add one unit to the integer the next thing we want to do is to just print the value of this integer on the screen and next destroy the actor that is in the level now in order to use the game instance that we just made we need to go to our project settings and here in maps and modes you need to set the game instance class on the one that you just made so set it on my game instance and now everything is set now you can see that the number of the coins are written on the screen i have four coins in the first level and when i go to the other one it goes from five six to seven and so on yeah that's it guys this is how you move data between levels in unreal i hope you enjoyed this video and if you learned something new from this tutorial please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel see you in the next one